All right, guys, so check it out. We're going to go over three things every man must do to increase their overall confidence. Let's do this. All right, so I'm going to go over three things. But the first one that I want to hit on, and it's almost one of the most important things, is to study and read. And reason why I say that is because, yes, knowledge does equal power. And you want to look at understanding significant topics that are going to be good for you to hold a conversation and allow you to control that conversation. You also want to make sure that you're establishing conversational competency. And what that means is knowing how to talk and properly communicate. When you do that, you're allowing yourself to look a certain way. People respect a person that knows how to talk and knows how to talk clearly. That leads into articulation of words based on your company. But whenever I'm talking to a certain individual or a group of people, I want to know exactly who they are, what they're about, because that's going to showcase how I'm going to go ahead and put my words together appropriately so that they can grasp what I'm trying to accomplish when I go ahead and talk about a particular subject. You also want to make sure that you're staying up to date with current affairs. Having a voice of opinion on popular topics will allow you to stay into the conversation, whether it goes from one side of the spectrum to the other, whether it's religion, whether it's politics, whether it's physics, whether it's science, you have a wide range of knowledge that's going to allow you to at least be a part of that conversation. And that from there will give you confidence to talk about anything you need to talk about inside whatever company that you're keeping. And if you wanna learn more about my mentorship program, you can check out the link down below you'll get a call with one of the team members that will go over all the questions that you have so you can start up and get ready to increase your knowledge base when it comes down to physical performance and also overall coaching so link is down below check it out all right so the next thing you want to look at is your hair your nails and your skincare now the reason why I say that is because you don't want to look scraggly right you don't want to look like you don't have a haircut you don't know how to keep yourself well dressed or well kept and that's really where you're looking at okay I need to have a haircut when I go ahead and go out so make sure that you have a barber in hand so that they can cut you up when you're going for big occasions but also just to keep you well kept throughout the days right I know my my cameraman here one of my best friends he always has a nice lineup and for me my beard has to be on point at all times so my barber stays on call so make sure you do that another thing is man a lot of guys this is goes for a lot of guys that I see in the gym also and when I'm rolling in jiu-jitsu is cut your damn nails, man. There's too many guys out there that allow themselves to get you know, long, dirty ass fingernails. So make sure that you're cutting your nails. Again, I hate that feeling, but for the most part, trust me, everybody will thank you for it, especially if you're training MMA. And the last thing is going to be on washing your face and washing your body. Now, the reason why I say that is because you have to smell nice, right? You have to smell good in certain areas, man. And if you if you smell bad, if you're musky, you know, you got bad body odor, people will remember that. So you wanna make sure that you're cleaning yourself appropriately each and every day. I know that should be something that I don't need to talk about, but at the same time, some people miss that opportunity, right? So we wanna make sure that we're washing our body. Now, the reason why I say this also is because Tiege products has helped me out tremendously when they're talking about facial products, I'm in the camera a lot, right? So I don't want to have any blemishes. I don't want to have, you know, any dirt or grime or oil. And I'm also in the gym all the time. So I'm sweating nonstop. I'm training nonstop. I'm in the sun a lot for the triathlon training. So what I use is the AM and PM cream. And I also use the wash for the oil blemishes and things of that nature built up over time with training. So this definitely helps, all right? You got a moisturizer there too as well. They also have a full body wash that I like. And also the scrub, the weekly scrub that's something that takes away all those blemishes gets rid of the oil and it's all natural products which is also important for me just because I don't want to put stuff that I don't know that I can't even read or can't pronounce on my face or on my body AM PM moisturizer and this again is for men so let me preface this is for men only because we're built different man we have thicker skin we have facial hair this definitely helps for me obviously so check out Tiege products down below link is in the description you'll get a free gift with every purchase that you get and also again like I said I vouch for them definitely a product that I use AM 
PM, moisturizers, the wash, and the scrub. Highly recommend it, especially if you're trying to increase the pride of your appearance, especially on your face and everything else. So make sure you check them out, teachhanley.com. Link is in the description. All right, and last but certainly not least, building strength and overall muscle. We wanna make sure that you're building a physical appearance, right? So you wanna increase your strength, you wanna increase your power production, you wanna increase your muscle mass, right? Because we wanna look like men, right? We wanna look like Hercules primarily, right? So we wanna establish that dominance by just walking in the room and making sure that everyone is looking at you in a way of respect. And that's how you're gonna go ahead and use that to your advantage when you're talking about overall confidence. When I step into a room, I wanna make sure that people know that I am the dominant figure. And the reason why is because yes, you built that strength, not only physically, but mentally inside the weight room, and you also build some muscle mass because you actually look like a man at this point, right? You can handle it yourself. Another thing is having the ability to defend yourself and your loved ones. So it's not only you just getting in the weight room or getting in the gym and lifting weights and pumping up your biceps, it's actually learning how to defend yourself. And that comes from either Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, you can learn some boxing, some kickboxing, some Muay Thai, all right? You also wanna learn how to shoot, go to the range, find some tactical training and work on that too as well because not just your hands and your feet, but you also wanna be tactical in other ways as well. You wanna be able to utilize a gun if need be. Another thing is you have to work on your fitness, not just your overall fitness when I'm talking about like CrossFit, I'm talking about having endurance, having stamina, having conditioning. You're gonna have to work that because again, if something pops off, you wanna be able to defend yourself and take care of your family. So you wanna look at yourself in the mirror and be comfortable with what you're looking at. You wanna respect yourself. And the way you're gonna do that is get in that weight room, push your mind, push your body, get on the mats, push your mind, push your body, and then get in the range and make sure you're equipped with the tools necessary for you to defend yourself and the family that you love. So there you go. Those are three things right there. If you want to learn more on how to strengthen up your body, you can check out one of my programs down below. Link is in the description. And if you have any questions, hit the comments down below. Make sure you hit the like button. If you like this style of video, I'll go over more detail with other videos if it's appropriate for you. Make sure you hit the subscribe button again. If you haven't done so, hit the notification. I'll see you again next time. Peace.